Welcome to this introduction to Blackboard Ultra, where we will cover how to access and navigate Blackboard Ultra, including how to view module content, use the text editor, and access further guides and support. To access Blackboard, go to mymodule.tcd.ie. Click on the login button in the center of the screen and enter your college email address and password. Some continuous professional development and dental nurse program students will use this other link to log in, but you'll be advised of this in advance if this is the case for you. Once you've logged in, you will see the home page containing recent system announcements and links to guides and supports. Some students will also see additional school specific information on this page. Let's take a look at the interface. Use the left hand menu to navigate through Blackboard Ultra. To access the profile tab, click on your name. Most of the information on this page comes from your student record automatically. However, you can customize your profile picture. Notification settings can also be amended here. Choose the type and frequency of notifications you will receive across email, the mobile app, and the activity stream. The activity tab provides access to your activity stream, which shows any recent updates across all of your modules. Simply click on an entry from the list to go to the relevant page. The module tab is the one you'll use most frequently. From here, you can view, search for, and quickly access all of the modules that you are enrolled in. Modules are automatically grouped by academic year, and you will use the arrows and drop down menu at the top of the page to navigate through the years. Use the search box to quickly locate your modules and use the filter to display specific module types. Click on the star icon to add a module as a favorite for easy access in the future. Control how you view your module list by choosing the module list or grid view. Module enrollments on Blackboard are automatically based on your student record, which you can view on my.tcd.ie. Check with your school office if you are not enrolled to a module. The calendar tab will display any assessment due dates that are upcoming. You can also view your timetable in the calendar. The timetable is only updated once per day, so if you are not sure if the information provided is up to date, double check using the timetable on my.tcd.ie. The messages tab will allow you to send messages to other students enrolled in your modules. A notification icon will appear if you receive a new message. Please note that messages may be disabled on certain modules, so check with your instructors if this feature is enabled. The Marks tab displays your marks and feedback across all your modules. You can click on an entry to view the Marks section within the module and then click on the title of an assessment to view more specific feedback if available. You may also need to view marks on my.tcd.ie as this is your official student record and may contain marks for exams done outside Blackboard. Let's take a look at how you can access your module content. Returning to the modules tab, you can select a module to enter it. The name and ID of the module will appear in the top left corner of the screen. On the right hand side of the screen, is a menu which displays the module staff area at the top. This will list the main instructors on the module. Below is the details and actions area. This has a number of items under it, but for this video, we're just going to focus on the elements you need. The class register allows you to view the staff and students on the module. If the class register option is not visible, the module instructors may have hidden it from students. Select the eye icon next to a person to view their name and Blackboard username. Class Collaborate is Blackboard's webinar tool. 
Click Join Session to join any webinars currently in progress. The ellipsis icon will give you more options, including accessing webinar recordings. To the left of the module is the module content area, which displays all of the teaching materials and content for this module. On the right of each content title, you will see a number indicating how many materials are included. Click each content heading to access the materials. If there is a lot of content within a module and you know the full name or part of the name of a document or item you wish to access, click on the magnifying glass icon to the right of the module content heading and type in the name there. This search feature allows you to search for content using a keyword. Remember, the search only looks for keywords in content titles. It does not scan the text within individual items. Progress tracking is a feature that allows both module staff and students themselves to monitor their progress through a module. It identifies what module content students have interacted with and to what extent. To the left of each piece of content is a circle. A blank circle shows that the content has not yet been viewed. A half circle shows that the content has been viewed and a green tick shows that you have finished reviewing the item. You should manually mark a piece of content as complete when you have finished reviewing it. You can do this by clicking on the half circle icon to turn it into a green tick. Assignments and tests will automatically gain the green tick when you submit them. Certain types of module content are available in alternative formats through Blackboard Ally. Next to content such as PDFs or audio files, you can see an A icon with a small downwards arrow. Click on this to display a list of alternative formats that you can select from. After selecting the format you require, Use the download button to download it to your device. In the navigation bar along the top of the module page, you will see a selection of tabs. The calendar tab displays the module calendar, which is automatically populated with key module specific dates, such as assignment deadlines. The next tab is announcements. Instructors can use announcements to communicate important information. Announcements appear on your activity stream, but module specific announcements can also be found in that module's announcement tab. When you enter a module, any new announcements will immediately appear in a window. This window disappears once you close it, but you can still access the announcement in the announcements tab. An email called Daily Digest is sent out every night. It collates all the announcements and messages made across your modules that day and puts them into a single email. You can customize the settings for these emails in your profile tab. The discussion tab is where you can access discussion tasks and post comments in response to questions as well as view and reply to comments made by instructors and other students. Discussion tasks can be accessed either from the discussions tab or from the task itself within the module content area. Select the discussion task you wish to contribute to and post your comment in the box below that discussion topic. When typing your response, you will have access to text editing options where you can change the style, size and color of the font. You can also attach documents, insert media, and other options. When you are ready, click Post to submit your entry. If your instructor has allowed edits, you can click on the ellipsis icon on the top right of your entry and choose Edit to update your entry. The Messages tab allows you to see messages specific to this module. To create a message, select New Message at the top of the screen. In certain modules, you may be required to participate in group work. The Groups tab allows you to access the groups you have been enrolled in or to self-enroll into a group. To self-enroll, select the Join button to the right of your chosen group.
To leave a module, click the blue X on the top left of the screen. To log out of Blackboard, click on the Log Out button at the bottom of the menu on the left hand side. You will then be asked if you wish to sign out of your TCD computer account. Do this to complete the sign out process. If you'd like any further help or information around Blackboard, please visit our website.